Welcome to Wham Bam Security Cam. We've got clips of crashes, vandals, and everything in between all caught on security cameras. Here we go. Watch what happened on what seemed like a quiet day in this Lake City mini storage parking lot. It looks like a sedan hit a white pickup truck, sending it rolling into the lot and into a parked Prius. It rolled several more times before finally coming to a stop, right side up, but severely damaged. The car that had caused the accident continued careening down the road with a destroyed front end. Miraculously, everyone survived the crash. Garrett owns the apartment building this camera is installed on. At around 2.30 a.m. on Christmas Eve, he got a call from one of his tenants. Apparently, someone in a Ford Explorer had been having some fun in the snow when everything went terribly wrong. After he smashed into the brick wall, the driver just sat there for a moment. Finally, they decided to flee the scene without taking responsibility for their actions. Little did they know, the cameras were rolling, and they'd even left their license plate behind. Garrett promptly contacted the police, who were later able to track the guy down. They gave him three tickets for hit and run, failure to notify police of an accident, and imprudent speed. Garrett already got a quote to fix his building, and we're hoping that guy learned his lesson. Here's another clip in which snowy roads caused some extra trouble. Charlie told us it had been snowing a lot and freezing every night. On the way to run an errand, his Land Rover Discovery lost traction and slid before slamming into the corner of the fence. It then slipped the rest of the way down the driveway. According to Charlie, that Land Rover is the fourth car that has been claimed by this cursed corner. They're still waiting for a repair estimate, but he adds, what an expensive weekend. Okay, we'll take a break from the snow for a while. Speaking of breaks, Nick's caught these two would-be thieves trying to break the cable lock off her mom's neighbor's bike. Nix was working one night at around 3 a.m. when she got an alert on her phone from her Ring home security camera. The thieves were pretty intent on cutting the cable with some kind of tool, but they sure scrambled away fast when Nix pressed the siren button on her Ring app. Hey guys, wait up! You left your tool behind! Oh well, they won't have a chance to try again anyway because Nix's mom's neighbor has since moved the bike somewhere safer. That previous story might make you wonder, where are the cops when you need them? Well, I've got the answer for you. It was windy in Las Vegas when Sean's empty trash can tipped over into the road right in front of an SUV. The driver was able to stop in time, but they hesitated to get out because of other traffic. That's when a cop pulled up behind them and got out to deal with the road obstruction. Not only did the cop move the trash can so the SUV driver could continue on their way, he brought it all the way back up to Sean's house where it belonged. Okay, I guess we can let the previous story slide after seeing this. Watch what happened outside of Ryan's work one night. <laughs> A driver was about to turn left into the parking lot when the driver behind them decided to floor it in an attempt to pass them. The vehicle flipped over and landed on its roof. Ryan and his co-worker were some of the first on the scene. While Ryan was on the phone with 911, one of the ladies from the black car was desperate to get her purse out of it, even when they started to smell leaking gasoline. In the end, everyone was able to walk away from the crash. This submitter's dad had just finished putting out the trash cans. Less than 10 seconds after he walked up the driveway, a blue Dodge Charger smashed into all three of their cans, plus a neighbor's. Not only did the reckless driver utterly obliterate the trash cans, the impact sent them flying into one of the submitter's cars. We have to wonder if maybe the driver was distracted by all the Christmas decorations. Of course, you might agree with the submitter's dad's theory. Uh, say, someone's drunk driving. That last submitter's car wasn't the only victim of a drunk driver in today's episode. Ann Aaron's car was parked outside her house one night when, as she puts it, a car tried to use my car as a wheelie ramp. 
Even though the footage is in black and white, this photo of the damage reveals the color of the offender's vehicle. The force of the impact was enough to push the car forward and put two wheels up on the curb. The driver then took off, disappearing into the night. What is with all these impaired drivers? I hope showing videos like this will spread awareness about how dangerous it is to the driver and others. Thankfully, at least one car in our next clip was spared from destruction. The submitter says he's so glad he doesn't have to park his Tesla Model 3 on the street. Luckily, the driver who hit his neighbor's car returned the next day to find the owner. According to our submitter, the two parties were able to reach an agreement. Let's watch that one more time, shall we? Look at that smug Tesla, safe and cozy in its little pen. Hey, that car looks familiar. So does that carport. Oh wait, this is my clip. Several years ago, my car was parked safely in my carport when two ne'er-do-wells stopped to see if they could get into it. After trying the door handles, the guy looked for a trunk latch, but when he couldn't find one, he decided to break off my aftermarket backup camera instead. Then, after attempting to see what was in the car through the tinted glass, he threw a chunk of concrete at the front window before finally giving up and taking off. Okay, now it's your turn. Use the link in the description to send us your own clips, and we'll see you next week.